Let's talk about how to install security updates only. Quite often on a server, you're only going to want the security updates and not all the other updates to applications and so on. So a lot of times you'll just want security updates. And this lab, Lab 13, shows how to do this. So if you want to follow along, this is Lab 13, Installing Security Updates Only. What we're going to do, we're going to show the DNF security update option in Fedora, really easy to use, but we'll also show how to install individual updates from a security perspective in Debian. So let's jump over to our Fedora system now, bring up a terminal, and if you're working as root, that's fine, but if you're working as a regular user, make sure that you have sudo powers or wheel powers, depending on which distro you're working in. In this case, we're in Fedora, so we want to make sure we have wheel powers and make sure that you're using the sudo command before anything that we do here. So it's fairly simple to install security updates only and disregard the rest of the application updates in Fedora. We can do a sudo dnf check-updates but then just add double dash security onto that. Type in our password. And that'll look through our Fedora repositories and look for any RPMs that are available based on security updates. We're not really worried about application updates. We just want security updates. And we find that there indeed is one. Open SC for the x86-64 platform, which is us. If we're running an Intel or an AMD CPU on our physical system or on our virtual system, then x86-64 is what we want. So we have a couple options here. We can do a DNF install and then the name of that particular package. And of course, we'd have to precede that with sudo and that'll install that individual package. Or we could do a sudo dnf update double dash security, and that'll just grab the security updates. Let's do that. And it sees the one update as we knew it would. So we'll say yes to that. It'll look for it, download it, install it, verify it, upgrade it, and it's complete. Very good. Now, security updates are usually a lot smaller than application updates, so that process should be a lot faster. So that was really easy, right? Now, one of the things you're going to want to do is make sure that you keep abreast of the various security updates that are out there. So I recommend highly that you go to your distro's security page for any updates. So for example, I'm here at Red Hat at access.redhat.com slash security slash security dash updates. And this has all of the updates available to you. And you can see these say things like RHSA 2024 this year, and then the number for that particular CVE. And so you wanna keep up to date with what these are and make sure that you're updating your systems. And you'll notice that they have different levels of severity, like moderate or important and higher levels. So definitely look out for this. But that's really it when it comes to doing the updates on this system for security only. Now, you can also do updates based on the advisory number. So, for example, if we go back to our Fedora system, we could do something like a sudo DNF update. And then we would say double dash advisory and specify what that advisory is. So something like RHSA dash 2024 colon 0773. Okay. So that's very similar to what we were just looking at. This advisory probably already has been updated. Let's take a look. Okay, and it has been installed, no security updates needed, uh, but it does say there are 24 updates available 
I'm not really interested in that for this sub lesson. I just want security updates. So it's complete because this particular advisory has already been installed. So that's another way to do it. If you're looking at these advisory numbers, you can do it by that particular number for your Fedora and Red Hat and CentOS systems. Now let's show how to install security updates only in a Debian-based system. There's several ways to do this, and they're more complex than in a Fedora-based system. Now, the one system that I have here that needs security updates is my Ubuntu server. So I'm going to use this as the example. So we're going to do an apt-get for this, dash s, and the option is going to be dist-upgrade in this case. Then we're going to pipe that, and we're going to filter with grep, and we're going to do double quotes, caret, I-N-S-T. And the installations that we're going to filter for, we're going to do a second filter, grep-I, and we're going to filter for security. Okay, so this should do an apt-get and look out to the repositories, but it should filter for just the security updates. Let's press enter for this. And there you go, we get a bunch of security updates for Jammy Jellyfish, Ubuntu 22.04. And we have Linux headers, Linux generic, Vim, Vim common. And yes, believe it or not, the Vim text editor does have security vulnerabilities, so these are important. So we found all of them. Now if we want to install them, we can up arrow to bring that command back, but now we'll just kind of do a little bit more finagling with what we want to do. First, I'm going to use the awk command to grab the names of each of these. So, for example, the names are here. That is the entire name of one. And then we've got the name of another here and the name of another here. So those are the names that we want to pull down. Those are the package names. We have to grab each of those, and those are the second field of each line item. So that's what we're going to use the awk command to do. We're going to grab that second field from each line item. So this is going to be an awk dash capital F. We'll do double quotes, and then we'll do curly braces, single quote, and we'll say print dollar sign two and close that. That'll grab the second field of each of those line items. And then we'll pipe that to xargs so that we can run the argument to do an apt get install for all of those security items. So that'll be apt dash get install. Let's see if this works. Okay, so dpackage was interrupted. We have to run a dpackage double dash configure dash a. And we'll see if we can fix that, and then we'll try that again. Okay, so that's finished, and now we can run our command again. There we go, and it's grabbing just the security updates. So what actually is happening here? Well, we use the grep command to filter for the security updates only. We use the awk command to specify the second field of each line item, and then we ran apt get install to actually install them utilizing the xargs command. And this is one of those examples where you'd use apt get or apt dash get, if you will, instead of just apt. So that's going to grab all of those security files only. And you may say, wow, that's a lot more work, right? And so a new kernel is available here. I'm just going to say OK for that and restart the services that are necessary. Basically just pull kit. But yes, that is definitely a lot of work. There's other ways to do it. One of them is called the unattended upgrades program. 
And then there's another one called Deb E Scan. And I talk about those in the lab document. So feel free to check those out as well. And you get options for how that'll work. But generally, this is how I'll do it. I'll just filter for the security updates and grab those only. And we can see that we're finished here with the Ubuntu system now. Another way to do this is to automate it. You could create yourself a bash script with the command that we just did here. And you could incorporate that into a script and you could run that when you want in an automated fashion with cron or anacron or other methods. And we'll talk about those a little bit later in this course as well. So lots of options when it comes to Linux to do these things, to make things easier for you. But definitely take a look at updating security only instead of installing all of the updates on your systems, whether they're Debian-based or Fedora-based. And that is it for this sub-lesson.